Eh, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing here or not, but... <laughs> well, oh my God, look. Oh, what is that? Don't touch them in a hurry. What is that? <laughs> that is strange. What in God's name is that? The day is breaking softly and the night is glowing true. I feel a million eyes, but I can just see you. No rain, no thunder. It's just your light, your voice. The heaven of our kiss, the wonder of our choice. So breathe. So if you watched our previous video on the Butterley tram road, you'll notice that we're also in Critch now, which is only, I don't know, half a mile to the west of Fritchley, which is where we were. Um, this video is now about the Critch tramway, the second tramway in this area built by Stevenson. Um, it's 1841. Uh, Stevenson's already in the area because he's building the clay tunnel for the North Midland Railway Company. And he's seen that, again, there's potential in the area for mining lime or quarrying lime and bringing it down to the railways and the canals. So Stevenson's now got in on the, in on the act. Um, and we are looking at Stevenson's railway, um, although Stevenson's tramway, um, here in the village of Critch. Right, so we're on this bit of, I guess we would call it a common bit of grassland. I'm guessing it's used by cows. We're, what we're in search for now is number one, the incline, um, and the incline from down from the canal, from down from the works, um, up to the top of this hill, which is at the top up there by the tree line. And what we're looking for is the first tunnel on uh, Stevenson's um, tramway, 1841 tramway. We think there is at least two tunnels. Um, we're going to go in search of the the second tunnel a little bit later, but this is what we're now in search for is the first tunnel. Now if you go back to our Butterley video you'll notice that there was a guy who we spoke to who owned the land of the oldest tunnel in the world. He said you can still see parts of this tunnel. So we're really keen to see exactly what he meant by that. Did he mean you can see the archway? Did he mean you can see inside it? Um, what remains of it? Lots of questions which hopefully we'll be able to answer very shortly. <sighs> Bringing back memories of a clan foist incline, Rebecca. Mm. Hills, tram road. Promise me no more hills. Promise you no more hills, I'm afraid. But um, this is what I love about making the videos that we make when we have no idea of where the item we're looking for is. So we're looking for the first tunnel, as we already mentioned, on Stevenson's tram road, the Kreutz tram road. Um, and we know there's a tunnel here. Um, if you follow the tree line there, the tree line marks roughly the alignment of the railway. So we've got to sort of turn ourselves into cartographers or engineers and think, right, where would you put a tunnel here? Why would you need a tunnel? So you're coming from that way and you're heading here, this way, and you're heading over the top of that hill, down the hill there, down to the Cromford Canal and the railway. Why would you need a tunnel here? Where are you going to put it? I'm doing the right thing here or not, but... <laughs> it's not a drop. It's a... slope. Uh, I'd appreciate the torch. <laughs> it's vast. It's really, really well constructed. I say it's well constructed, obviously. Yeah. That's the stupid thing to say. What I mean is, it's really, really intact now. You, I don't know if this camera shows it. You can see really deep into it. It's as dry as you like. Oh, the, the track's at different levels. That's me. Yeah. It's 
sleepers. Yeah. Sleepers. Wow. Oh my God, look. Rob, what is that? What is that? <laughs> wow. That is never a mushroom. It is. What in God's name is that? I can see the sleepers now where the sleepers have been. And yeah, can you see? They're yes, light again there. Wow. Matter. Mm. <coughs> wow, what a, what a find. <clears throat> I can't, I'm really surprised still at the split level lines within a tunnel. This one looks really, really high compared to the actual roof itself. So we've been in the tunnel, um, we've come out of the southern end, we've noticed a big curvature, so we now assume it heads off in that direction and probably goes down there. So what we're going to try and look for is see if there's any evidence of the barrels where they would use um, the rope pulley system to get up and down the hills. I think two trucks up, two trucks down at the same time, could be well wrong. Um, whether there's any evidence of that or not, I don't know, but the line curves from where we were just a second ago around here now there's a cutting and an earthwork just over there so we assume it goes off in that direction just to the left of mark um, that looks incredibly steep but i guess the incline could be as steep as you wanted it to be um, so we'll see if we can find any evidence there before we go on and look for the um, critch town tunnel okay so what you're looking at now is the top of the um the incline we found um, where the line would come in there. So at the top of this little bit here where it's very overgrown, the top of that is the top of the incline, we assume, um, because now what we're in is quite a clearly, obviously cut uh, incline plane um, heading down that way there. So this is um, what we're looking for. This is Stevenson's 1841 um, incline. Okay, so these kind people have us in their garden. Here is the track bed of the 1841 tram road, the Critch or Critch tram road. Um, we are aware that's quite deep, even though there's quite a lot of vegetation there. But we're going to try and get up to the portal just to see if it is blocked in. We think it is. Um, what it's blocked in with, if there's any sort of view inside it. We know the other side is blocked off, so we're obviously presuming you can't get right through. Um, but. Um, yeah, let's have a look at what Stevenson did in 1841. <laughs> Woo! That was a close one. Yeah. Right, so Mark and Mark and Martin doing some vegetation and clearance down there at the moment um, which is great because I'm only wearing shorts um, <laughs> but we are obviously <laughs> going to get down there there is a hole that's just a good news so we can see inside it um, again pretty sure the other side is blocked off the other side just by the fire station over the road is blocked off completely or sort of yeah, buried shall we say um, so Mark is doing a sterling job with a broom and a rake and a pair of secateurs um, to clear the end tunnel entrance. So hopefully we're going to bring you some really good shots of a tunnel built by Stevenson himself, literally himself, but by Stevenson in 1841. This is really exciting. This is what we love about the whole the railway exploring side of things that we do. Um, 
it's all well and good us going around railways that were, were built in sort of the mid to late 1800s but this along with the previous video the Butterley tram road we did these are the real early railways where they were using um, plates um, instead of sort of the lines that we know of today um, proper proper good bit of history here really interesting right so we've managed to get down the um down this embankment we've climbed over a i'm going to say a five foot six foot wall nearly um don't know how we're going to get back up in a minute but that'll be fun um Myers is taking some shots in the hole mark has done some excellent gardening shots from here as well with a rake and all sorts so we're now going to try and take a few shots with our gear as well just to see if we can see inside it um okay got that oh yeah i'll give it a go yeah same as mine pretty much yeah <clears throat> so yeah, as we said, thankfully someone has knocked a hole in here. Um, oh wow. Okay. Well, Okay, really good shots from in there, pretty sure we did. Um, well, we're gonna have a look at those properly when we get home because obviously we can only see a tiny couple of inch screen um, full of flies down here. Um, I'm really pleased that we spoke to the people in the house just over there who let us in over their wall here because if we'd have had to come from that way behind that green shed, that would have been a pretty big disaster. <laughs> So what, what a treat that was. Um, what amazing amazes us as well a little bit. As with the guy who's got the oldest tunnel in the world in his um, back garden, as with those lovely folks there, a lot of people don't tend to realize the history that's right on their doorstep. We we're just telling them basically they've got a tunnel in their garden, it's 180 years old, um, and they didn't realize. Um, they knew something was there, but they didn't realize they had a grade two listed building pretty much at the bottom of their garden. Absolutely fascinating. So what a treat we had there at the um, the Crouch Town Tunnel. We're just walking back now to the car. We've got a long walk. Um, we're walking back across the um, early fields that we saw. Um, and yeah, what a great find. We found an earlier tunnel at the top of this hill. Um, we managed to get inside, which is massively unexpected. We found the Crouch Tunnel, which went under Sandy's Lane at the back of that person's garden. Thank you very much if you're watching this to those uh, people. Um, who owned the house and the subsequent, um, well they didn't own the tunnel but I think it's council owned but they let us get over their back garden and their wall didn't they? Oh and the rake and the secateurs and the brush they used to help us clear the vegetation. Um, so yeah this has been the Kreutz tramway I think we're pretty much done for today so we're going to round off now and say thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm going to say subscribe to Martin's channel because um, it seems like I should but I think the vast majority of you came from Martin's to watch ours. No, Maybe. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe so, um, again. Subscribe again to Martin's channel. <laughs> Unsubscribe then subscribe. No, don't do that. That's, that's rubbish. But either way yeah make sure you look out for Martin's videos um, and obviously ours as well. We're going to put Mark's social media presence as well in the, in the um, doobidars down below. Um, and from Rebecca and I, Rebecca stood right here. From Rebecca, I, Martin and Mark, a massive thank you for watching and uh, we will see you sometime very soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.